Hi, everybody, and welcome to our webinar. And this is on relationship marketing. And everyone out there who knows me knows I'm all about connections and, and you know, making the most of our connections. I am very personalized with people, and I, I always reach out to them, meeting people at um, different events and online, and I reach out on both occasions. And Sue Brook, who is my sponsor in SOC, which is Send Out Cards, um, I think I either I reached out to her or she me. I think it was me reaching out to her a while back, like maybe eight months ago. And then um, it's it's I guess timing is everything. And I think I wasn't really ready at the time. And then she sent me a card because she had my address. And I'm going to show that card. And it was this, but me at all these events with all these. Uh, lovely people who a lot of you know and then she put this inside it's a hashtag rock star and it was right around my birthday which is the end of april and i'm going to tell you guys i think i read this card at least a dozen times probably more and i just couldn't believe that um somebody took the time to think of me and and put all this together for me and i was just really it meant so much so i'm a more of an empath and I really felt um, the love that came through this card and again that she took the time to do this so without further ado I'd like to introduce <laughs> my dear friend Sue Brock and I love Sue for you to tell us about yourself and your your journey with um, Center Cards and how you even got here and just fill us in. Absolutely I'm trying right now to get my little screen share thing ready to go you know technology yeah you never Anywhere. know <laughs> So anyway, let me, um, you know, I, I think it's probably easier. Thank you so much, Renee. You are absolutely amazing. And before I start the screen share, I want to let you guys know that um, Renee reached out to me. I posted something on Facebook. She reached out. We talked, I don't know, a few months ago, like she said. And um, then recently, uh, for some reason, you know, Facebook's crazy. And uh, she popped up and I saw all these. And so I went to her Facebook page and I was like, what is this? Like her entire Facebook page is her with selfies with like hot people like everywhere in the freaking world. And I'm like, this girl is amazing. Like she knows how to network. She knows how to connect. And I was like, okay, I got to talk to this girl because um, I have a story. And uh, yeah, so we connected again and, and I surprised her with a card because I had gotten her address a while back and I put all those pictures and well, not all of them because others I would have to put a whole entire book of people, you know, <laughs> but I picked like some of the coolest pictures that I saw in there and I created that card for her and we talked and we've like connected and can't stop talking. So yeah. So she goes, how did you do this? And I'm like, well, people ask me that all the time. So um, I'm like, this is so perfect for you. And uh, you know, it's such an amazing way to connect. So I'm going to share my screen so I can show you a picture to show, um, Let's see, uh, to share my story of how this all happened and, and what my story is behind it. So here we go. <laughs> and once again, technology. So um, first of all, I love this screen. Can you see the screen, Renee? I can. Okay, good, because I have like two screens here. So, you know, attracting your most profitable customers, turning them into raving fans, and have them knocking down your door for, with referrals. And I just like this because it's really exactly what um what it does what i what this system can do so my story da -da, <laughs> come on um basically whoops and of course you pitch advice okay first of all i am a relationship marketing expert i'm a business and marketing strategist a uh, speaker author all those kind of things i never like to talk about myself <laughs> but basically my claim to fame is i owned I've owned businesses since I was 22 years old, starting with a ballroom dance studio. And then my claim to fame business that I had for almost 20 years was an educational learning center for kids, K to 12. And um, I learned a lot because uh, I have my story, which I will not get into about going through a divorce, getting in a horrible car accident, the whole nine yards, and then starting a business with no money in the bank at age 44 years old. And really what I'm going to share you guys that Renee asked me to share today is really how I built that business into a very successful 5,000 square foot learning center with a couple of locations. Um, what I'm going to talk about um, is, this is really a relationship marketing follow-up 
referral generation, customer retention system. I couldn't think of one word to say what it is, but it honestly is. So my story starts, uh, my real story that, um, that really made me want to dive into this even more was this. So about a year and a half ago, I got a crazy message on Facebook that's from this woman that said she was a cousin of my mother's. So the thing is, my mother died when I was eight years old and my younger sister was five. And so I didn't, I don't know anybody on that side of the family. And long story, very, very short. She said, my nephew put his DNA to ancestry and it matched up with a girl in Northern California. And it looks like she, you have a half sister. So magically, um, I do, and we made sure of it. And this is the picture, um, the picture on the left with the three of us. Um, my new sister's the one that's on the right, I'm on the left, and on my right, the blondest girl, that's my younger sister who I grew up with. So that was in Women's World Magazine. We, that was the first day we met. And the other picture is me and my new sister, and that's what we looked like the day we met. And we did not plan the outfits or the shoes or anything. <laughs> so she's amazing and uh, moved. Northern California, I packed everything up. I stopped what I was doing. Um, I sold my business right before then. And I moved to Sebastopol, California. So Northern California, way north of, uh, well, about an hour north of San Francisco. And she went off to work one day and I sat there going, holy cow, I just moved to a community. I don't know one single person and I need to build a business. And I needed to meet business owners. So as you know, as business owners, and Renee said that the people that she's invited today are amazing business owners, as you already know, is you need to figure out who your ideal clients are. So I knew they were business owners, and I knew I needed to go out and start meeting people. So that's exactly what I did. Um, and what did I do first? I realized, or I knew, for, I knew from my past businesses that it's all about relationships. And Renee, of all people on the planet I've ever met, this girl knows this, right, Renee? Oh, Sue, thank I mean, you. Wow. Thank you blow my mind how many people you've built relationships with. It's, it's unbelievable. But, and so I'm speaking to the choir when I talk to Renee about building relationships. So I knew that's what I had to do. So the thing is, it's called relationship marketing, but people that we meet normally People put the emphasis on marketing. I have to market my business. I have to go market. And the problem is people are putting it on the wrong, or the emphasis on the wrong word. 80% of your, what you do when you're out there meeting people is focusing on the relationship and only 20% should be focused on marketing. And I call it crockpot marketing. <laughs> Why do I call it that? Is because which would you rather eat food out of? A crockpot or a microwave? Um, I think we all know the answer to that, right? I lived on microwave food for a long time and it really is horrible. So the thing is, if you want to eat out of a crock pot, it takes time and relationships definitely take time and, uh, to nurture, to nurture, right? Yep. And don't think I really have talked too much about this Re building relationships you really have to start with a foundation, which is you. <laughs> and you got to be a nice person. And again, I'm going to just use Renee as an example because she's like the perfect person here. She knows, she cares about people. She, she's a nice person. She wants to know about people. And that's all you really need to do is treat other people the way you want to be treated. Take a personal interest in people. Like People are amazing. Like their stories are amazing. Um, I actually help people publish books too. And so I really want to ask people what their story is. Renee has like amazing story. She needs to write a book. <laughs> I am. I am writing a book. Yippee. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go through a lot of this stuff really quickly, but I think it's super important. And like I said, Renee is, uh, is the networking specialist. But the problem is people go to networking events and what do they do? It looks like this. Everybody's passing out business cards. They think that that's networking, right? But the bottom line is this, you, you meet people. So I created this cool chart. So everybody you meet is a contact. Okay. So you can put the contact into one of two buckets. You can, your, your contact might turn into be a prospect, which might turn into customer, right? So that's what everybody thinks they're going out networking to do. But 
Renee and I are completely opposite. <laughs> we want to meet people. We don't care if they're prospects. We just want to make friends with them because guess what? The referral bucket is way bigger and you can actually get a lot more contact, a lot more customers from referrals, just one person. So it is all about building the relationships, creating friendships, getting people to know you and you know them and they're going to all organically refer you to people. And it happens to me all the time. I've lived out here a little less than a year and a half. And I get referrals all the time because of what I do. And we all know that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. But the thing is, it's if they remember you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have to remember you. If we go out and make huge uh, impact on people, they're going to leave and they're going to forget who you are. That's why you need to keep in touch with people. We need to actually create friendships, right? And I'm going to interject here right now with that last slide, Sue. And a lot of my entrepreneurial friends, you know, we go to these events and we see a lot of each other at these events. And they all know it is definitely, to your point, the people you know, like, and trust. If anybody called me and they needed something from me, I would say, what is it you need? How can I serve you? Because we're, we're about serving, giving, serving, and sharing. And, and that's what they do. So this is... This is why I invited them to this because, you know, they're a lot of them are most of them very similar to me in that regard. We want to do business with people you know, like, and trust, and that's what this is about. It's heart centered, uh, and it's just a great way to to keep the networking alive after you meet people. Absolutely love it. You know, because the bottom line is, eighty percent of sales are made on the fifth to twelfth contact. Contact, right? Mm -hmm. um, sorry about that. Um, so you need a follow-up system. You need a follow-up system. Um, stay top of mind with people. So that's really what this is all about. It, for me, has been a really great follow-up system. And I don't even think I need to spend a lot of time on this right now, but we all need to know, you need to bridge the gap between high-tech and personal touch. Uh, I'll just ask everybody a rhetorical question. How many people send out newsletters? I ask that when I speak all the time and all these business owners says, yep, I sent out newsletters. But then I say, how many of you love email? Like, love it. You run to the computer every morning and see how many, how many emails you have. It's so exciting. No, <laughs> I hate them. So the bottom line is the, the statistics are there's only maybe 11% of emails are open, but only one to 2% of emails are actually read, you know? And um, just think this is hilarious. <laughs> Years ago, it was like, you've got mail. It was so exciting. And now it's like, wow, a letter in the mail. It's like, that is. Right, it reversed. It reversed, you know. Huge. <laughs> Greeting cards have a 100% open rate. So if you're watching this and you are in a marketer and you know about marketing, open rates are really big with emails. But if you send a greeting card or an actual one in the mail, it's 100% sure they're going to open it and read it. Right? Yeah. Like you're yeah. not going to leave on the counter. <laughs> yeah. Um, the tangible thank you card generates more referral business than any other form of communication, any other form. And this is so interesting. So I love, I love hearing stories. And if you haven't read this book, write this book down, How to Sell Anything to Anybody by Joe Girard. Story behind Joe Girard is the short book, very easy read. Basically, he is in the Guinness Book of World Records selling the most cars, I believe in a year, sold an average of six cars a day. Now, mind you, this is back in like 1975 or something like that, way a long time ago, but he still holds a book, Guinness Book of World Records, still. Incredible. I know, his secret, he sent thank you cards and, and cards to everybody. He sent 13 cards a year to every person he met and their families, like not just people he sold cars to, well, you can imagine, like back then, there was no system like we're going to show you today. He had to actually hire staffs of people to handwrite the cards. I mean, crazy. Yeah, this is really cool. I know. And Mary Kay Cosmetics, hey, $1.2 billion industry. She taught all of her reps to send three handwritten thank you cards before they go to bed. And Tom Hopkins, I'm sure you've all heard of the, on how to master the art of selling and handwritten thank you notes every single day. Um, he did do have a 99 to 100% referral business doing like $14 million a year or something like that. Okay, so I really, um, <laughs> if 
you own a business, this is something that every business owner needs to understand. Customer lifetime value. So, you know, I work with a lot of clients and I ask them, what's your customer lifetime value? And a lot of times they don't think about it. They just think of that one-time sale. Like For example, I owned a tutoring business. Um, I knew that if a little boy came in, a little first grader came in, uh, it would be maybe $500 a month. I knew if it was a first grader, <laughs> I wanted them to stay for the whole year. So the value is 500 times 12, which was $6,000. Then I wanted that first grader to stay till he went to college. <laughs> so even 10 more years is $60,000, right? Then you have to add all the people that they refer to you. My very first client, my business, put one ad in the paper. I got one client, this is before email. Yeah. And that, that little boy and his family, I loved on them so much and sent birthday cards and thank you cards and made friends with them. They told everybody. And so that they were probably worth a million dollars to my business, if you really think about it. So it's so important to take care of your customers and keep top of mind. And those of you who want statistics, I know there's, I'm not a statistic person, but there are people are. Um, the number one reason a customer doesn't come back is because they forgot about you. They don't leave because of price. Uh, Thomas, you don't, they don't. I have a story around that. I started my business as being the cheapest in the whole entire community. And my story, I'll, I'll just make it really short. I started raising my prices so I could keep the doors open until I was the most expensive um, tutoring business in the city and nobody left me because I made sure I appreciated them because 85% of clients are lost because they don't feel appreciated. People spend more money trying to get new customers than appreciating the ones they already have. It seems so silly to me for everybody to go, oh, I got to get new customers, got to get new customers, when all you really need is to make the customers you have feel really good and keep in touch with your past customers so they'll tell people. I mean, it's, it's, it seems so simple. But um, you know, I'm going to add to that. I'm going to tag on, on that point. I, I come from uh, retail, 25 years in retail with the same company. Wow. And it was all about, yeah, all about customer service. And I didn't sell the cheapest stuff. I sell, sold a lot of expensive items. And people would refer their friends to me because they knew that I really cared about them. And it was about, to your point, the relationship that you build with people, not about the price. If you feel you're taken care of, I mean, I... We all know that. We totally know that. But, you know, we all get all hung up with the money, the money. I should lower my price. No one wants to do it. It's not about the price. It's about you really caring about them and taking care of them. And that's what drew me to this, this whole business because, you know, I love people. I love connecting with people. I love making them feel special. I love making them feel important because I just, I just do. I just, it feels good. It, right? You know, I want to make them feel good because they make me feel good. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. And you know, I just have to tell this story and it's not because I'm showing off all my cars, but I've owned seven. I'm new sure you are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love my, I've owned seven new Beatles and there's a reason. Uh, number two there was two sets of flames. But anyway, it was, I was hit by a Ford F-250 truck in the driver's side door of that car. And it literally saved my life full of titanium, brain injury, the whole thing, but I'm still here because of that car. So I love my cars, yeah. I love my Volkswagen Beetles, um, but there's a reason why I'm putting this up here. This is, if there's a really important sales, uh, point here. Pink one is the one I have now. So here's the thing, I just want you to think about what I'm gonna say. I bought all seven cars from a different salesperson and a different dealership, okay? The pink one that's the, right there, I bought less than two years ago. I couldn't tell you who the salesperson was a week after I bought the car. They never kept in touch with me. The only thing I got was a survey asking me if I was happy with the service and can you, I please refer people. And uh, there you go. I don't think I have to say anything else. If that first person that sold me that first car would have kept in touch with me like Joe Girard, I would have been rich. <laughs> I sent so many people to buy those cars. So remember that. Um, this story I'll tell you really quick. This is actually amazing. This is a realtor in Arizona who started using, he, he started using the send out card system, like I said. And so he said he was terrible at following up 
and he got started using the system and he put all of his new clients and his potential clients in the system and he started sending cards and he his business exploded then he said you know i never took time to put in my past clients into the system so he goes well i'm going to send them all holiday cards so he made the holiday cards he sent them all holiday cards with addresses of the houses he had sold to them and picture on the right are a whole bunch of the cards that came back undeliverable so he took it he went what is this so he actually went to the mls and he looked them all up and he found out all of those people had sold their house and bought another house from a different realtor he lost over seventy five thousand dollars in potential commissions because he didn't keep in touch with them. Wow. That's oh, sad, huh? That's really oh, sad. I would have cried. <laughs> I would have, I don't know what I would have done. I, I can't imagine. So yeah, he'll never make that mistake again, right? Yeah. Now here's the thing, and I know Renee's gonna agree with me in this. The deal is this when you we talk about sending out thank you cards and appreciating your clients and all of those things and sending out love and kindness into the world, but the thing is there's it's a there's something really important you will set yourself apart by reaching out in kindness purely with the intent to stay in touch with them not to get a sale i cannot tell you i can't drill that into anyone's heads more than if you go to send a card to someone let's say any kind of kindness it doesn't have to be a card it can be anything if your intention when you push that send button or you go to the post office is to get a sale or get a customer it will not work absolutely will not work so purely with the intent to stay in touch that's when you're going to make the difference so i'm going to tell one story that i that made the biggest impact on me and, and i do this to other people all the time but this is what happened so when i moved to the new community i'm going to tell you exactly what i did to now i have become literally i mean people know me everywhere i go i've kind of become a celebrity up here um everybody knows who i am and uh, i get referrals all the time and get new business all the time and this is what i did i go to i went to this um chamber mixer i do what i always did i take a selfie of me and whoever i met and then i put it on the front of a card and i send it to them um then they always call me and say oh my gosh that was so cool like renee <laughs> how did you do that and he said, so he called me and he said, Sue, can you come by the office? I really want to talk to you. So I met with him and that's not him in the picture. That's actually a picture of me and my dad. I'll tell you in a second what happened. So we talked and he said, Sue, I'd really like to meet with you again. And I said, I know. He goes, I want to know how I can work with you and you know, whatever. And I said, well, that would be great. Tomorrow morning I'm leaving to go back to Nebraska to move my father into a memory care assisted living because he has dementia. And I don't know how long I'm going to be gone. I just know it's going to be hard. And he, his mother had dementia and he really, he really took an interest and said, you know, I know it's going to be really tough. Don't worry about it. You know, when you come back, when I got home, this card, this actual card was in the mail with this beautiful message. This is my most favorite picture of my father and I, it's the very last time we got to go out to eat before we moved him. And all I have to say is I opened this envelope and he had gone on my Facebook page and somehow found this picture and it's with me every minute of every day it it my tears just stream down my face I it just I can't begin to tell you what it did for me he cared enough to do that he wasn't trying to sell me anything he wasn't trying to get my business he really did care and uh who am I gonna send all my referrals to I mean really yeah i think that's all i have to say about that yeah um a lot of people like to say they want to ask for referrals i see in the bottoms of emails and on business cards say oh the the best thing you can do is give me a referral but you know what the bottom line is don't ask for referrals just deserve them just deserve them um it's easy to do when you follow Renee's lead and, and do what she does and going out there and, and keeping in touch with your clients and forming relationships. And this is probably my favorite saying from Maya Angelou is the, you've learned that people will forget what you said. They forget what you, they will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel ever. Um, so what you send out in life is what comes back to you every single time. Like 
10 million fold <laughs> in both ways, good and bad, right? Yeah, right. Let, let's make it the good. And that's what this is about. And that's why I, I've chosen to take this on because I think it is such a positive, positive um, way to send love and light out into the universe to my friends, to my family. Um, I know I sent Amy a card. I, I've sent out to a lot of people. I have a lot of contacts, but I didn't get to everybody yet. So forgive me if you're listening. You're like, well, you didn't send me one. Um, I, I have a lot of contacts I'm, you know, going through and I, I'm getting their information to send it to them. It's really, it's a, it's a physical card. I showed it to you. It's a physical card that comes in the mail and your information's on the back. So you can post, you know, your business and such on the back, whatever you want to put on there and your contact info and, you know, just put. You can design the card however you want. It really doesn't take a lot of time. If you're looking at it, I go, oh my God, I don't have time for that. It really doesn't. And we'll go through that. It's so easy. I'm not a techie gal if anybody knows me. And I have been sending so many cards um, and, and just because I want to make people feel good. And Amy, I know she's on um, mute right now, but I know she, she received one. And I've had other people contact me back in tears. Um, I'm like six and seven figure income earners. That they're like, oh my gosh, Renee, I never got anything like this. There was no special occasion. I can't believe you just, just sent me something just to send me, something. you know, it was just, and I, you guys, I didn't do it to get this back from these people. I didn't ever expect to get um, in Messenger to get uh, video messages with them sending me video messages and audio messages just that they couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like in the market getting an audio message from somebody on Messenger or a video message on Messenger or a text message. And I'm like, that was not, my intention was just to send out love to these people who have been there for me and people I just wanted to send love to just because, and I never in a million years did it to get anything back. And I, it, I was like flooded with this love back and I'm like, wow. I know it's, it's like, it's like this, uh, well, honestly, sending out kindness. If you've read Wayne Dyer's book, um, it's, he says in there, people giving out kindness and the person receiving kindness both get that shot of serotonin, that feel-good drug, right? Oh. The most amazing thing that I read in that book was it's not just the person giving and receiving, it's the people observing it. So when I tell my story and show the picture of my dad, almost every time in the audience, people there's people that are crying because they're feeling that serotonin just hearing about the story. So it's huge. So what I want to do now, if it's okay with you, Renee, is I'm going to share my screen on my phone. And I'm going to yeah. show you what Renee and I are doing now. I mean, I've been doing it since I moved here. This is exactly what I do when I go out and I meet anyone. Um, I have a story where I was literally at Starbucks. I was meeting a new client at Starbucks. And this little girl came up to the table, like a little, I don't know, she was two. And, uh, and the mom came running over and said, oh, I'm really, really sorry, you know, and got her little girl. And I said, was um, a terrible two girl, was it? Terrible twos? <laughs> yeah, something. But the funny thing is the, the mom that came over had this little baby in one of those carriers where they're facing you. And oh my gosh, she was the cutest baby with a huge giant smile. And I said, oh my gosh, can I take a picture of you and your baby? I literally took a picture of her and her baby and I gave her my phone. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. She gave me all of her contact information and her and her mailing address, I sent her the card with the picture of her and her baby. And I'm not joking. She called me right away. I met with her. She owns a business and I got a new client just because I took a picture of some baby mom and her baby in Starbucks. So funny. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. Let's see. All right. So if you can see my screen there, um, I have, okay, come on. Um, there's a send out cards app. Come on, hopefully my little uh, technology will. You got Instagram. <laughs> I look at everything you got there. There you go. There it is. There it is. So uh, there's a, this. There's an app you can do it on your computer as well. But I'm going to show you what Renee and I do. Um, that's so much fun. And I can. I'm going to go slow, but I can literally do this in like 30 seconds. <laughs> I've been doing it so long. So first of all, there's thousands of cards in the catalog that you can choose from. Birthday cards, regular ones, like if you went to Walmart or whatever and scrolled up and down the aisles for cards, they have thousands of them. Um, I use the top one that says photo cards. So I'm going to send a picture today. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I click that button and I can create either a vertical or a horizontal card. So for this one, I know the picture is vertical, so I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to click at the top and I'm going to put in the middle your photo here. 
So I could either take the picture or whatever, but I'm gonna go on my phone here and I'm gonna go down. Um, <laughs> you know, my sister, this is so funny. So my sister, my sister's husband, they, two of them, they just got a new dog. Um, they rescued the dog from the Humane Society. And this little dog is so funny. And we were at the beach the other day. And <laughs> he had the dog in his coat. It was just so darn funny. It needs Adorable. Me. Isn't that cute? So I want to send my sister's husband this card. So I'm going to go ahead and take that picture because it's so adorable. And I, and it's, there it is, the front of the card. If I wanted to, I can scroll in or out or whatever. I'm going to swipe to the left. And that's the inside left of the card. I'm going to swipe again to the inside right of the card. It's uh, catching up to me here. <laughs> and the inside right where I can put more pictures if I want, just so you know, it's completely customizable. You can add all sorts of stuff like the one I sent uh, Renee. Uh, I'm going to click the T in the middle and you can choose a color. So I'm going to pick blue for his color. You can choose a font. And what's really cool about this is there's an option where you can literally send in your handwriting font on a sheet and they'll make you your own font. <laughs> so you can have your own font. I have my own font in here. Um, down here, it's personal. And because of the interest of time, I usually voice text a message, but I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna do something kind of silly and I'm just gonna put hashtag uh, cuteness. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm going to do in there in the interest of time. Okay, so there's the inside of my card. You can put anything you want on the inside. And then I'm going to stripe, I'm going to swipe one more time and go to the back of the card. And like Renee said, you can do anything you want in the back of the card. I have lots of different uh, custom backs. Um, Renee has a great one. We worked on them. You can have backs for your business, for your personal, whatever you want. So this is my newest back. I'm going to leave that on there. I'm going to go ahead and tap send up in the top. And here's what's really cool about it too. When I'm out and about, I don't have these people's addresses. So I usually just put new contact and I hand them the phone and they could put in their address, their email address, their birthday, their spouse, their birth, whatever they want in there, you, their whole, everything. And then um, they're in your system forever. So because I'm sending this to my um, brother-in-law, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Mark and, uh, him in there you can up I have all of my contacts in my system and I'm going to push continue um, and as it says says free and I'm going to push submit and the card was sent so in a few days my brother-in-law is going to get that very cute card with the dog picture on the front and I'm going to stop the share here and that's it it happens that quickly and that easily and, and, then, to the, and then to Sue's point you guys um, it's got your reach Turn address. It's got the person's address. It's got a stamp that's already on it. You're not going to the post office to get stamps or saying, "Oh gosh, I ran out of stamps." <laughs> Everything is done for you. So if I can show you the um, what do I, the return address is here. The address of the person you're sending to is there. I don't. That's my mom's address. So I'm not going to that. But um, it is, and the stamp is yeah, the stamp is there. I didn't have to. It's it's like already on there. It's not like um, it's not like an actual actual physical stamp that you have to put on it's all done for you so if it's nasty outside and depending where you live or it's late at night and you forgot to get and you know kelly a card or your brother or whoever sister anybody and it's oh i forgot to get cards for people i literally do it straight from my phone i send cards from my phone I know I do it when I'm like standing at starbucks waiting for you know waiting for my coffee or you know if i'm in my car at a stoplight <laughs> you know it's amazing and, you could send them to anywhere in the world from anywhere in the world. It doesn't yes. matter. Yeah, go ahead, yes. Sue. Okay, good. I'm glad you brought that up because um, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again, and I'm going to show yeah. you guys what the system can do. So it's not only about sending one card at a time. This system is really a relationship marketing system. And um, remember, we were talking about follow up and having a follow up system. Um, this is the best follow up. My follow up is done before I leave every single networking event because I've already taken the picture and sent the card right there on the spot. So um, oh, I have to just say this one thing because I have this screen up here. If you think that you can only do this in person, you're crazy. I have built so many relationships on Facebook. I've never met Renee in person. <laughs> 
<laughs> we met on Facebook, right? So this is a funny story. This is, these are pictures of actual cards that I've sent out. So the one day I said, I'm going to post on Facebook, post your favorite pet picture. Well, we all know people's pets are more important than their own kids most of the time. So a like hundred people posted their pet picture. They commented with that. So what I did is I went, I'm going to try something. And I messaged, I don't, most of the people on my Facebook, I don't know. I've never met in person. I don't even know them <laughs> at all. Some of them I never talked to. So I messaged them all individually. And I said, oh my gosh, thank you for posting your cute picture of Fluffy or whatever their name was. Um, I'd love to send you and Fluffy a surprise. Can I get your mailing address? And I'm not joking. Every single person gave me their mailing address. Um, one guy gave me his email twice because he didn't understand that I want a mailing, like the real mailbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, you know what, that shows today, I'm going to interject, so that shows the impersonal touch, not the personal touch, that people put in, I don't want to say touch, because that sounds like it's backwards, but the way people do their, their marketing, the guy didn't even understand that it was actually going to be a physical card. I know. I get it's through email, it's like, so it's, you know, this at Gmail or this, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. They don't, they're not, he was very shocked that you were actually going to send a physical card. Yes. That so I have to tell you what, yeah. <laughs> so what, so that's pretty funny because I had a lady once and you can send gifts like brownies. I send a lot of boxes of brownies to people and the, the lady goes, they're virtual brownies, right? And I'm like, no, they're real brownies. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'll give you my mail, my, my home address. It was so funny. Yeah. You can send physical gifts to people too. Absolutely. Yeah. And going back to that pet picture thing, so I got to tell you, and you guys, anybody that's listening, if you're a speaker or trainer, you're doing events, this is so funny. So I sent one card, well, I was doing an event, I was speaking in Southern California, I was doing a workshop, and I'm not joking, someone I sent a, a picture of their cat to, never met her in person, sent her a picture, she drove two hours, come to hear me speak, and she turned, she was, she like signed up and is a client of mine now. And um, because why? I sent her a picture of her cat on the card that she will never throw away. Never throw away. So anyway. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what this can do. Because this system is unbelievable. Um, okay, we're waiting for the technology. Um, obviously it's called send out cards. We call it appreciation you can there are three ways to send cards. So let me go through the three ways. What we were just talking about, what Renee and I do most of the time, um, almost 100% of the time, I send heartfelt cards. And what that means is you create one card, you send a heartfelt message, you push send, it's immediately sent out, okay? Simple, heartfelt cards, okay? It's an immediate send date. That's one way you can send cards, okay? Set. Oh, and here's, by the way, this is an example of the catalog. There's tons of them. Um, the ones here that say father and hero, these are called photo drop cards. There's beautiful cards that are pre-designed and you just put your own pictures in place of the ones that you see right there. Those are there's some pretty cool ones there. Or they, or they can use the ones that are there. If they, you know, they could do either well, way. Can, but it's way yeah. more fun to put your own in there. Of and course, then, it is more personalized, which is what we do. Exactly, and they have tons of gifts change them all the time like right now there's a lot of father's day gifts in there um starbucks gift cards walmart gift cards jewelry there's a beautiful new necklace i just sent to myself <laughs> um so anyway that's for the heartfelt card the second kind of way that you can send it is group sends like you would do a holiday card so i created my holiday cards it was so funny on facebook people were like oh my gosh i've spent hours and days sending writing out my holiday cards and stamps and blah it just makes me tired listening to him. And I said, oh, well, I got my holiday cards. I sent about 300 of them out in five minutes. And they're like, what? Because what you can do is you can create a card and then you can say, I want this card to go to this group of people because your contacts are all in the system, all segmented into groups. And, in, and then you push send. And every single card is sent as a group completely personalized with their name and the whole nine yards. So group send cards are amazing, especially if you're going to be sending a lot of group sends like holidays. So um, that's really, really time saver right there. Um, then the next one's called a scheduled send cards. Okay, so what this is, is if you do email marketing, you've all heard of, autom uh, you know, like automated 
messaging, you know, auto sends. So this is the same with send out cards. You can actually create where they have pre-designed cards that are already done for different industries. And you can say, I want this card to go out immediately. I want this card to go out in two weeks. I want this card to go out, you know, on this date. I want this card to go out. And you can hit send and those cards will go out on the date that you want them to be sent. It's amazing. Um, so you don't even have to remember people's birthday. <laughs> you can set them all in there and have them automatically sent, which is to me incredible. Um, it's a great follow-up system, by the way. Um, they have sets of cards for that. Now, I want to talk about the relationship manager. So what that is is basically the CRM. Okay, it's you upload all your contacts in there. You can put all of their contact information in there. If those of you that use things like Infusionsoft and all that, this is comparable to that in the card send message and card send uh, platform. It is amazing. So um, you have access to that on any of the subscriptions that you can get on. So I'm going to tell you about the subscriptions. First of all, it's free to have an account. You can completely have a free account on um, send out cards. So it's if you're on the free account, it's it's all a cart. You pay like you were going to go to the store. This is good if you're only going to send a card here and there. But, uh, it's like two seventy five a card. Let's post oh, it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to interject. If you guys not like if you go to the store because the store does not cost two seventy five. I don't know what store you're shopping at. Maybe the dollar store would be a dollar. But for the most, I'm going to tell you guys. I spent. I did spend. Not now so much on cards you were going past this like it was like a, you were breathing through it too fast because i spent at least four five six seven dollars i somewhere it's really been up terrible to seven dollars on a card i'm like seven i'm like at the register i'm like what cost seven dollars like oh that that card i'm like what it's i mean i love the person but what you know but okay. holy cow and how it's like so this you know the first couple of cards i sent were um before i became an affiliate I, I did under Sue as a client and they were like 275, you know, and that was a lot less. And I still did that from, you know, the luxury of my own home um, without having to go to the, the store. So it still saved me the time and the energy going around, you know, going looking and spending 20 minutes looking for a card or something. Um, and 275 was a lot less than I ever, ever had spent um, going to get a card. So now you can continue to, but there is no way that they, only cost 275 there are a lot more so i know um, I'm that's, you, that's already a big deal i'm glad you brought that up because somebody i have a friend who sent a card for a holiday card and yes it was a beautiful card and someone goes oh my gosh that's one of those cards that cost like ten dollars to send and it felt terrible but i threw it away I'm like where am i gonna put it it was it was it was great and it was beautiful and i set it out for the holidays but then it went in the trash i'm like i'm not gonna save it I can send cards this way. You can send a card with someone's picture on it or their picture that they're never going to toss in the trash. So, um, yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Marina. It's very true. But here's the thing. You can, if you want access to that relationship manager, which to me is absolutely priceless, you can get on a subscription. So they do have subscriptions. First one is $17 a month. Your cards are only $2.25 a card. Those are for heartfelt cards when you send them immediately. You're gonna pay two dollars a card, so a little less if you're gonna send like groups of cards, two or more, and you get a fifteen percent discount on the gifts. So that's a seventeen dollar month. That's really good if you're gonna send maybe a few cards a week. Okay, you'd want to get on the system, and if you have a business, you definitely want to at least be on this one because of the relationship manager, where you can, you know, you know that your contacts are the are your gold in your business, right? I love these next two. This is my favorite. I'm on this most of the year. Um, uh, next one, I upgrade to another one in a minute, but 97 a month, listen to this. You can send as many single heartfelt card sends as you want anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, postage included. So I literally sent a card to Turkey the other day. I have a friend in Turkey and uh, sent him a card and it cost me nothing because I'm on the $97 a month program where I'm unlimited. I can, I literally sent 30 or 40 cards the other night before I went to bed. Um, company you can go out of business with me because I sent so many cards. Um, so basically the heart, the 97 premium is unlimited heartfelt cards 
if you want to send groups like your holiday cards, like you want to create one card and send it to a group, it's only $1.75 per card. And then you pay postage on those and you get 30% discount on all the gifts. So it's absolutely amazing. They also have the other cool thing on this plan is you get loyalty rewards. So that means is um, because you pay for group card sends or the schedule, if you're going to schedule them out, you're going to pay per card. They give you 10 free cards to send out as a group every month accumulate. So I don't send a whole lot of cards in groups because I love sending the heartfelt. So the holidays, I have like a hundred cards to send out as a group for free. I just paid postage. So this is an amazing one. I, I just, I love this. It's like, I love it when it says free, you made the world a better place every time you send a card. <laughs> yeah, I say that. I know. I see you smile every time. <laughs> now this one. So you, I was going to say, would you, yeah. You want to, okay, I'll do this price one. One, just so you know. Go ahead, finish that one first. I want to tell them about the different um, okay. options they have. Okay, so the 147 is essentially the same as the unlimited. You still get the unlimited heartfelt cards with the 30% discount in the whole nine yards, but they give you a hundred cards to send for free as a group. You only pay postage on those cards. So this is really cool if uh, you're going to send at least a hundred group send cards every month. Um, Let's say you're like a dentist or a chiropractor or somebody that's sending out groups of cards, maybe as um, most a marketing piece or something, or you just want to take your top 100 clients and make sure that you touch them every month. Um, this is a really great one. And I, I upgrade to this every so often. I'll upgrade to this because I don't send a lot of group sends. I send mostly heartfelt, but um, a lot of people are on this one. So did you want to say something else, Renee, about that? Was yeah, because if they're looking at like each month, I mean, I'm doing the 97, but the thing is when you have people that you join with you, then you're not spending anything. I don't want mm -hmm. them to think, well, I'm not going to do that. That I'll needs to that be said because, they're, yeah, they're going to look at it going, I don't want to be doing that because that nobody wants to be doing that. So if you can talk to that point, that would be great. Okay, so what's really cool about this, obviously those are the free ones, like again, I'll get a free account. Um, I'm going to give you the link. Uh, Renee probably already has given you the link, but if not, um, I'm going to share it at the end here. You all can go because she is on the unlimited subscription plan. As long as you use her link that I'm going to give you and you, it's her affiliate link. You can send your first card for free, completely customized card for free. So I want everybody that's on this webinar, whether it's live or whether it's the replay, make sure that you go and send a free card and get your free account um, and send it to make the card count Okay, go out and send a good one. So, um, but anyway, those are the subscriptions. Now here's the cool thing. Oh wait, I got one more thing to say before that. There's a lot of extras that you can add on like the up here, the four, where it says 49, that is your handwriting font and signature. So if you want your own handwriting font made, it's only $49. You can send in the sheet and it has your own handwriting and then you can put four different signatures to put on there. These, in, the first impressions kit, that is a set, pre-designed, high quality, like high uh, stock quality, harder stock that is pre-designed and they're the ones where you can send out as uh, scheduled out as a group or like good follow-up system. Um, and that's $99, but they're doing a special right now where you can get your handwriting font, signatures, and the impression impressions pack for 99 so that's, that's just an extra thing you can add that's optional and then they also have a campaign store they call it where they have pre-designed cards for every like tons of industries from pet care to network marketing to legal dental automotive the motorsports by the way is really cool cards um are really beautiful cards and they're already pre-designed and they also have messages on the inside that you can edit and you can purchase these that you can have access um to for life now this is what uh, Renee was talking about. How would you like to have your send out cards co subscription completely paid for? Um, both of us are uh, getting our, our first paid for, and this is how you do this. So essentially all my cards are free <laughs> and this is how you do it. All you need is to be, is become an affiliate. So you can become an affiliate if you want to. There's three ways you can do send out cards. One is be a customer only. Number two is become an affiliate. It's only 59 bucks for the year to become an affiliate. Um, so if you join the movement to do that, you get paid every single month 
for subscriptions and all card and gift sending from people you referred to send out cards. So um, I refer Day, for example, and then I get a commission for whatever she sends out, like every single thing she sends out. So the way it works, if you just want to get your subscription paid for only, you can just do that, pay the 59. You get, let's say you want to be on the 97. All you need to do is share it with four customers. And if they do the 97, send out cards is going to pay you the commissions that will cover your entire subscription, which would make all of your heartfelt card sends plus your postage plus anywhere in the world for free. And the third way you can use send out cards is if you want to make it like a side hustle business or you want to make it, I have someone that makes this their entire business, you can actually add more affiliates and build teams and all those good things and you can make um, commissions off of other affiliates that you sign up. So it's like an unlimited f affiliate program. But you can, you can talk to R Renee or me about that if you're interested in that kind of thing. But uh, the affiliate thing is amazing. So here's Renee's link up here at the top, sendoutcards.com forward slash Renee Reich. Um, make sure that you spell that right and put it up there and that will actually take you on your computer to her, uh, you'll see her picture on the screen. And as long as you use that link, you can click send card and you can your first card will be free. Um, if you want to try it on your phone, you can, um, I would ask Renee to, send you her special link or her code. She has a code that you could, it'll say sponsor ID to get her code. I, you know what it is, Renee, off the top of your head or no? <laughs> I do, I do because I have it here, so hold on. Um, I do. You can put it in the chat too, um, um, or you can say it. So it's important that you use Renee's link because a, a, she gets credit, and but the biggest thing is you get to send a free card, your first card for free. Yeah, I do have it. Where's my, uh, where's the check button? Hold on, let me get the chat back. Okay. okay, so it's my affiliate link. Is that what they want? No, it's your sponsor ID, but that's okay. Me, oh, I have it, I have it. It uh, looks like there's a chat here. Who's asking a question? I would need to go ahead and say it. Um, okay. Oh, there's somebody else that's online right now. Very cool. Let me fix this so I can see who else is on here. Yeah, you guys are welcome to come on and ask questions now. <laughs> um, it looks like we've got somebody else on. I posted my ID as well. Jeremiah is on. My friend um, Emanuela was on as well. Oh, she was cool. on earlier. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's so funny. Fun. Can't see all the people on here. So why don't you guys come on with your videos if you can and ask? Because they're at work. These the two people that are here are at work. Oh, okay, great. But they're my friends, and they um they wanted to support me when I asked them to come on. They they did. So other people that might be watching the replay, and I appreciate those. I appreciate everybody um as well. But these are the people that um are actually at their job that they can't be on video right now for various reasons. So oh, that's okay. So um I will go ahead. I we have been recording this, just so you know. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and thank everyone for coming. Renee, do you have any last minute okay. things to say? No, I want to thank everybody that that's here for the um, the live webinar, as well as those that are going to be coming on to watch the replay. I just am so grateful to all of you, your support, your gosh, your continued support of me as I continue to support you and your endeavors, and we're all entrepreneurs, the ones that I've been speaking to and then the Mikey meeting. Uh, so I'm just really, really grateful to each and every one of you. And uh, Jeremiah, thank you for your beautiful words and your comments, Amy, for being here. And I know my friend Emmanuel was on here also earlier. Um, so it's people that I just keep meeting at these events and they're just, just incredible. And I wouldn't have invited you guys, even the ones, like I just said, you guys are watching the replay. If I didn't think this was something that you could really utilize i'm very heart centered as you know and i know you all are as well and this is why i invited you here tonight so um please you know reach out to me i love to share this this event with you that what well, event the what i'm doing with send out cards so it's a really really great opportunity for any entrepreneur um this is what we do we connect with people and this is our livelihood and this is what attracted me to what i'm doing now so i want to encourage you to, to do the same and I know it's going to help your business as it helps mine but it's again it's heart centered you're coming from a place of authenticity and and the intention is to give serve and share and that's what I'm doing and um, I'd love to share this with you I love what you just said Renee and I, I do have to add this before I, I stop the recording because the, 
I only work with people that are heart centered and companies that come from from a heart centered place. I'm from a little teeny tiny town in the middle of Nebraska. I grew up just a farm girl, right? So I'm kind of in that space. But the, I just have to tell this really quick because I didn't say it in the beginning. The guy, Cody Bateman, who, um, oh, I, I've got to show you this too before I go. Um, he wrote this book called The Power of Human Connection, which you can all get a copy as long as you get in touch with Renee and give her your, um, your contact information. If you saw this, you just need to contact her and tell her you want a, a digital copy of this. And uh, Renee, we might just give away a hard copy of this as well. So okay. the thing with Cody, I just have to tell you, the reason I love, one of the main reasons I love this company so much is Cody Bateman's story, who created Send Out Cards. He was, the reason he created it was this. He was in Salt Lake City, Utah. He had his young family, his wife and his young kids, and he had gotten a job in the East Coast, and he was all packed in the car, ready to drive to the East Coast for his new job. And he told his mother goodbye, and he, they were in a hurry, and he saw his brother I don't know a couple blocks away and uh he had a prompting he calls it we all know what that is when you think well, you, you got this message from the universe or whatever a prompting to go say goodbye to his brother and tell his brother he loved him and he didn't act on the prompting his family said come on we got to go he got in the car drove to the east coast and a couple of months later he got a call in the middle of the night that his brother was tragically killed in an accident and it I just get chills every time I hear this story. <laughs> yeah. So he just, it killed him. And he just prayed to God and his brother. And he said, I am going to create some way for people to act on their promptings the second they have it. And um, that's where Send Out Cards came from. It's one of those things where my father right now is uh, has dementia. He's in an assisted living place. I can literally send him a card every single day with my picture on it. I can send him a box of brownies. If I'm thinking about him, I can just pick up my phone and send him a card on the spot. So this is the most amazing thing. I am so happy, Renee. Thank you so much for doing this. Everyone that's watching this right now, please contact Renee immediately and get started. And I'm offering free strategy sessions. I'm a, I love helping people figure out how to use this system and any system really, but this is my favorite and my go-to. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to help you guys too. You know my number. You know how to get in touch with me. If you don't, please yes. message me on on Facebook or on Messenger. If you don't have my direct number, I am happy to walk you through all of this. I appreciate you so so much, um, and your your just your your support means so much to me. And I am always here to support you too. So please reach out to me. And yes, I'd love to give you guys a a free copy of the book. So um, let me know if you're interested in that, and uh, I'll make sure we get that sent out to you. Awesome. And I'd love to have you join me in this journey of send out cards because it's amazing. It is amazing, guys. Okay. I'm going to stop the recording.